We're at Trotters on the King's Road where Evie has come for her first haircut. You would think, however, that we'd taken her to the dentist or something. Mm-hmm. Joanne, you're the expert, doyen of children's haircuts. What, what do I do to calm her down? Well, just really keep calm and pacify her, maybe try and entertain her a little bit. You could bring in snacks or um, their favourite book or a favourite toy that they like to look at or even your mobile phone or an iPad so they can watch a movie or something like that if that's what they like to do while they have the haircut. Also, um, try not to wake them up from a sleep um, or, you know, or bring them in when it's not nap time or they've had a, a very bad night where they've not slept a lot because obviously they're not going to be, they're going to be tired and not very uh, cooperative. I'll do about 24 haircuts a day. Really? So yeah, so I'm quite used to moving targets. Moving targets. <laughs> yeah. And it's quite important to, uh, to take a child to a specialist child children's hairdresser. Definitely, so. because we are used to this. As I said, we do 24 haircuts a day. Um, we're used to the children moving around. Um, if you went to a normal hairdresser's, they like to keep you quite still. Yes. So of a child, we can get a bob done quite easily. She does need a haircut because she's looking quite feral. OK, <laughs> what I'd do normally is familiarise her with the situation, bring her in uh, maybe a few days before, get her to see the environment. And um, should I be worried about Edie's reaction? Is she, no. is she, tra- she going to be traumatised by hair salons for the rest of her life? <laughs> no, not at all. It's really normal. Um, a lot of children get like this and uh, we try and entertain them, but I've seen a lot worse.